All right, goat folk, we're stretching wire. So I'm going around field wire in some of this and others I'm going on T-posts and redoing the whole thing. So if you actually see what we're doing here, we're anchoring on one end. Let me show you real quick. We're anchoring on one end. What we do is we cut out the, the there's three wires that are anchored around here and we cut out a big wedge out of the fencing and then we use these to secure around the base. Then the base, the middle and the top. Then we do our run. We roll out our big roll of fencing. Here's our big roll of fencing and there's our beautiful helper, Trisha. And so there's the big roll of fencing. And so you can see we clip off enough to where we leave a long piece of wire, one in the middle, one on the top, and one in the bottom. We wrap that around that far post. Then we hook to a come along. You always need something to anchor it to. And then we're going to stretch it with the come along. Uh, and we use this T post kind of interwoven in there and then we stretch it. So honey, go ahead and film the stretching part so they can kind of see that part. And then all we do is stretch this and it, it only needs to be so tight. It doesn't have to be all crazy or you actually kind of can create some problems for yourself. That looks good. But yeah, so now the fence is all super tight along there. We leave this and then I'll do the same thing. I'll clip here across here, release this cable, wrap it around this post, release one of the middle ones, wrap it around the post, and then release the bottom one, wrap that around the post, and now everything's locked in. And the only thing I'll make sure I'll do is I'll push it down so the whole thing's to the ground, but it really works like it's a great way to, we're to just, just we're kind put of up making fence do. Quit. Yeah, we're making do for the, to keep the dogs, chickens, and. Ma main goal here is on the areas where we have fields or where we have big panels, we're using a little shorter, um, field fencing style with a graduated mesh at the bottom to the top. Um, and it's mainly to keep the dog in. He's gonna keep the predators out. We're trying to keep the dog in. Now in the places where we don't have this and we just have T-posts, we're going with a taller uh, no two climb. by four inch no climb that is really gonna be a good containment system because most of that's along the creek, which is where we know the predators are gonna try to get in. So we're gonna make them climb that make noise in the process, put electricity, put a dog on the other side and protect our critters. And we got elk up on the ridge right now. So we know once winter hits, the predators will come and we're gonna need to be keeping them out. So that's part of the process. There it is. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna make you keep listening. Oh. So don't forget to click to subscribe and uh, click to subscribe and um, like this, leave comments, share it with your friends. And if you're already not a member of the Goat Club member, be a member of that. If you need any courses on anything to do with raising goats, whether it's meat, milk, pack, raising babies, we got all the courses on the site. Hope you find that helpful. Mark Warren, keypackoats.com.